I have my tasks data here presented in two different ways, in a table and in a card. I can sort the table by clicking the column name and I'll sort. I can click it a second time and it's going to sort it in the opposite direction. And you can see that because both of these components are sharing the same data source, as I sort in one component, the other component's sorting is matching it. What about searching and filtering though? I've got all this data. At the moment, I've got four small tasks, but if I wanted to search or filter, how would I do that? Let's head back. This is what my component looks like. I've got a data provider with a table and, and then a repeater with a card. Both of these components are using the same data provider. How can I filter them? Well, one way I can do it is I can add a dynamic filter. So add component, dynamic filter, and bring it above that. Let's publish that and refresh our page. Now that I've got this filter, I'm able to add a filter expression and say, well, the name starts with record and confirm. And it filters the data. So dynamic filters allow our users to dynamically filter the data when they need it. They can add filters and remove filters as they go. But we can also pre-prepare filters that can be applied easily. Let's see how we do that. Let's delete our dynamic filter and let's surround the whole of our component with a form. So let's add a form and bring our whole component inside it. The next thing I want to do is I want to add a text field. I'll add a component, a text field. I'm going to place it just above my table there. I'm going to tell my form, I want you to update. And the schema that I want it to be on is the task. So now when I go to my text field, I can set that to the name, the task name. Now what I want to do is I want to go to my data provider and define a filter. So much like we were allowing our user to set a dynamic filter after it's been deployed, this is us creating a filter before it's being deployed. I'm going to say, can you let the name that starts with binding to, and what do we want to bind to? We want to bind to that new form fields name. And we'll save that. We'll save that. So now when I refresh my page, I can see I've got this lovely form field here. I can type in record, press return, and I'm filtering out the fields that start with the phrase record. Now I'd probably tidy that up a bit, um, how might I tidy it up? Well, that text field probably could do with a bit of padding at the bottom um, to tidy it up. I'd quite like, I'd quite like it not to be the whole thing and over to the right. So one way I could do that is I could add a container component, bring my text field inside of that, and then bring it over to and right align it. Okay. Maybe now um, I could add a placeholder, um, search. And let's publish that. Okay, so that's looking a bit better. So let's do edit, press return, got this, cord, and I can still do the sorting. So now we're able to filter, search, and sort our data with these components. There's quite a lot of complexity in building that. And it's one of the ways where blocks can help us out. The blocks table component, I'm going to give it our tasks data, and I'm going to set up a search for name. And just like that, I'm able to search for the name. So if you just want the table, the searchable field, we can do that with a single block and it's just set the search columns on the right here. Allowing your data to be searchable, filterable and sortable allows your users to get what they need quicker and make their work more efficient.